back like we never left, BDA, and I'm here to bring you my top 10 One Piece characters. Now this is part of my 200 subscriber special. I appreciate you guys so much. So here I am bringing you my top 10 One Piece characters. Now without further ado, let's jump right into it. So at number 10, we have Rob Lucci. I'm a huge fan of Rob Lucci and I became a fan of Rob Lucci you know, with his encounters with Luffy. And that fight with Luffy and how he put, pushed Luffy to the brink Honestly, I think he should have won that fight, but let's not even go there. Number 10, the Beast, Rob Lucci. Moving on to number 9, Bartolomeo. Now, Bartolomeo is a fairly new character, and we were introduced to him in Dressrosa, and quickly became one of my favorite characters. His quirks, his fanboying, everything about Bartolomeo is hype, and the fact that he's just so loyal to Luffy, and the Straw Hats, how can I like that? It's so dope. So, 9, Bartolomeo. 8, Smoker, son. Now, Smoker is not a fan favorite, I don't think. I'm not sure, but Smoker is one of my favorite characters because of his demeanor, how he carries himself, and just his overall character, okay? He is a true Marine. He really believes in justice, and then he, he, he kind of pushes Luffy sometimes. His most recent run-ins with some of these other guys have been lackluster, but I think Smoker will bounce back. Smoker, number eight. Number seven. Don Quixote do Flamingo. Now, Dofi is quickly risen through the ranks of my favorite characters because of everything about him, the way he carries himself, just the hype of do Flamingo. do Flamingo was the central nervous system of everything. Basically, he was connected to the Marines, Tenubito, Underworld, Yonko. <laughs> do Flamingo is just hype, okay? Number six, Akagami. Now, Shanks has been hyped up a lot, okay, because we have we don't know a lot about Shanks. So what we can really do right now is just hype and just base it off what we've seen. And we've seen classes with Whitebeard and not much else. I mean he did scare away that sea king, but you know. So yeah, number six, Shanks. Number five, Sanji. Now Sanji is one of my favorite characters because he's a ladies man. Well, somewhat. He, he <laughs> the nosebleed thing kind of hurt him, but Sanji's overall perspective on things and just. His overall character, man, the thing Sanji does sometimes is just so hype. And he's loyal to the Straw Hats. He's one of the top fighters, part of the Monster Trio, Sanji. Number four, Monkey D, Luffy. Channeling my inner King of Lightning there. Luffy has been one, one of my favorite characters since the beginning of the show. I think he's meant to be that way. He is the main character, but... I really like Luffy, what he stands for. He really protects his friends and he goes after whatever he wants. He's a free pirate, essentially. So, Luffy, number four. Number three, Trafalgar Law. Now, Law, man, what, what can you say about Law? Law has one of the best fruits in the, in the One Piece verse. His um, demeanor and his interactions with everyone is just amazing. I mean, Mugiwara, yeah. I mean, come on. How are you doing like Law, yo? Room, Shambles. Yo, that law hype is beast. Three, law. Between number one and number two was tough because I really like these two characters a lot, but essentially I had to make up my mind. So here we go. Number two, Porcus D. Ace. Ace came in at number two, and the reason for Ace being number two, man, I just really like the way he, he carried himself. Yeah, the flashback with him and how he protected Luffy and Sabo, it, it really showed the, the, type, the type of person Ace was. What I didn't like about Ace was the fact that he kind of believed too much in his convictions, but is, is that really a bad thing? Ace dying was really a disappointment for me because I really wanted to see more of Ace. I want to see more of his interactions with Luffy, me being an older brother. I really could connect with him and how I felt like I had to protect my younger brother. So when he really gave his life for Luffy, that was really a sad moment and I, I did cry because it's, it's like, yo, how can you not cry that moment with this guy give up his life for his little brother? Granted, it probably could have been avoided, but again, Ace, number two. Oh man, number one. Who is it gonna be at number one? Now, number one, I think it's a lot of people's favorite and my favorite, everything he does is freaking epic. None other than Roar Noah Zoro. Zoro has been one of the best characters from the beginning of the series and he's only gotten better throughout. Now he does get lost a lot. His sense of direction is terrible. You can tell Zoro where to go and he still gets lost. Like literally where to go. But, you know, he's Zoro, man, and he has the best one-liners in the business. 
if Zoro went to be like a, a, a guidance counselor, everybody would be in college, son. Zora is a freaking man, and that's why he's number one on my board as my favorite One Piece character. I know a lot of people are not going to agree with my list. They're going to have different variations, probably have some of my characters that I like. But let me know in the comment section. Tell me who you like and who you recommend in number one, or who you think I should have on the list. So again, let me know. Um, like the video if you did. Comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, have a great day, people. Brago.